Hi there. I'm talking to Jarda de Copel over in uh, Czech Republic. That's where you are now, right, Jarda? Yes, in yeah. Prague. In Prague. In Prague, Czech Republic. Jarda and I met last year at Alia, and so I thought I would chat with him a little bit about his experience. I know that Alia has been transformative for him as well. So, Jarda, tell us a little bit about what you have gotten out of Alia. Mm. Well, I, I took um, part in a workshop, the Leader as a Shambhala Warrior, and I felt that it was uh, very fascinating because we had three different facilitators with very different approaches. And I think I learned a lot from each one of them. And in many ways, you know, I learned things that I could then reproduce in my work um, because I, I also work as a leadership consultant. Um, but th I think the coolest thing for me was that, you know, I spoke to quite a few people. It was almost like a confirmation of myself and, and who I've become over the last couple of years. And I spoke to quite a few people and they were like, hmm, what you're saying sounds quite smart. Maybe you should write a book. And then, you know, when I heard maybe you should write a book for about fifth time in two days, I said, okay, maybe I should write a book. And, and I went and I wrote a book and it's now self-published. And uh, it's been a big achievement for me uh, to kind of go out there and write a book because I've never done it before. I thought, you know, I wanted to do one at the beginning of the year, but I didn't know which one and about what and how to do it and all that stuff. But somehow Alia was uh, the catalyst for me to say, okay, I want to write it. And, and I did. So mm -hmm. I think it was a huge, a huge benefit for me. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Can you uh, share with us, and especially for people who haven't been to Alia yet, can you give us a story of one of your favorite memories from Alia? Um, I think it's a couple of things. So I think the, there is a huge concentration of very interesting people. I think that's number one. Uh, even all the trainers, but also all the people participating, I think, I think it's just amazing how many people actually concentrate in one space. Uh, the second thing is great, it's quite well hosted, um, so the space created is uh, full of care, full of respect, uh, safety for differences, but also uh, it really encourages people to be with each other and, and connect. And I learned a lot also from the way it was held. But, but there also seems to have been some kind of a positive vibe or positive energy. And I just remember that I think my favorite moment is all the little conversations I would have in the breaks between the sessions. Uh, and it all, almost seemed like unreal, but almost every conversation was full of, of care and respect and encouragement and also very interesting ideas. So almost like, you know, you get it at breakfast, at lunch, at dinner, just all these interesting conversations. And I think the quality of them was perhaps different from, you know, mm -hmm. other conferences together with the concentration of people and the quality of the hosted space. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, it's interesting you say that because I had similar experiences. It, it seemed like so many conversations went to a depth that ordinary, you know, yeah. interaction doesn't. And I'm interested, what's your perspective? What is it that's different about Alia than other conferences or workshops you've been at? How, what's that little magic that they managed to create to, to fill that space with so much depth? Mm. Well, I think for me, uh, the first point was the, the space. It was in a beautiful town in Canada, and um, I think we were quite secluded, so we were not disturbed. Um, so I think that was one. The second is perhaps the length, because I think it was four or five days, and I think you could see how every day layers on top of each other. And I guess the third, you know, I'm sure that the hosting team has um, an intention uh, that they go with into the week, but also I almost felt like, every single thing that was happening was adding to the attention. So it was like a snowballing, snowballing effect um, that really helps to build the, the special atmosphere, I think. That's great. Mm -hmm.